in the HOA system. Littering-based offenses are considered especially heinous. In Tampa, Florida, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Neighborhood Cops Unit. These are their stories. What do you say, partner? You, me, Friday night, two fine ladies by our sides. I don't know, man. Last time we went out didn't go so well. What are you saying? You don't like going out with me? No, it's not that. I love going out with you. It's just last time. You know, you kind of went overboard. Overboard? So yeah, maybe I had one too many drinks. You had six too many. Plus, you ended the night by getting high off of pixie sticks. Really? It was all a blur. Hey, what's that? What? It looks like some kid's backpack. Jeez, it's torn to shreds. I know. I wonder what happened. What's in it? Nothing. It's completely empty. Hmm, that's strange. Maybe one of those kids at the park would know. Yeah, maybe. Hello, gentlemen. Wonderful day out, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. You haven't seen anything. Well, I don't know. Suspicious, have you? No, not really. Liar! You know it's illegal to lie to a cop, don't ya? I'm not lying. I haven't seen anything all day. Oh yeah? Then how did you make your bed this morning? I didn't. Oh. Do you know whose backpack this is? Yeah. So he can see. Who does it belong to? His name's Gregory. Gregory, huh? That sounds like a fake name. Do you know where he is? No one's seen him for days. Probably died or something. And why would you say that? Uh, no reason. No, what is it? Listen, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but Gregory's been getting picked on at school. So? So he was really upset about it. I was on the phone with him the other night, and... He told me he got his revenge. Then what? Well, the kid he got revenge on knows some pretty bad people. He said they were after him. I wanted to tell my parents, but eh, I wasn't supposed to be on my phone. You know what this means? That when his mom finds out he was on the phone, she's gonna kill him? No, that this case just went from a missing backpack to a missing kid. Whoa, this just got real. Please, guys. You have to find him. Don't worry. We're the best. Try to be best, cause you're only a man. And a man's got to learn to take it. Try to believe, though the going gets rough, that you got to hang tough to make it. History repeats itself. Try and you succeed. Never doubt that you're the one. After a long day of investigating, we come to an obvious conclusion. Gregory is most likely dead. Oh god, no! It all started when he got off the bus. Gregory had seen something. Someone. Who was it? It was a man. (gasps) The man whose name would later be revealed as Fun Guy 
was wearing a gray jacket, sooner to be red. Blood? Yes, Ben. Blood. Gregory's blood. Dang it, Gregory, no! Gregory was trying to run, but Fungi was too fast. He stabbed Gregory, but Gregory knew something Fungi didn't. What? Jiu-Jitsu! Yes, of course! Gregory punched Fungi in the face and ran for it, but oh no, what's this? Fungi had an attack dog! No, an attack cat! Gregory was fast, but not faster than the cat. The cat jumped on Gregory's back, clawing and biting at him. Gregory knew he only had one choice, to throw his backpack, sending the cat along with it. And so he did. The cat and the bag went tumbling down to the ground. Gregory was safe. Hoo-hoo! For a second there, I thought Gregory was... Still under attack? Well, he was. Fungi had caught up to Gregory, and no level of jujitsu would get him out of this one. Fungi stuffed Gregory in a body bag and threw him in the river. Bye-bye, Gregory, said Fungi, but oh no, what's this? Gregory can swim. Yes, of course Gregory's got to be at least eight. Plus, he lives in Florida. I mean, it's a no-duh thing to know. Gregory swam as fast as he could, but awaiting for him right outside of the water was Fungi. He stuffed him in another body bag and threw him in another pond. This one, though, was filled with gators. Uh... Fungi sat on a rock to witness what was about to go down. But Gregory would not be alligator food today, oh no! So he swam again, dodging the gators left and right. When Gregory came out of that water, Fungi knew that simply throwing Gregory into the pond wouldn't do the trick. So he tied him up instead. Did it work? Of course not. Gregory got out, bolted towards the dead end. Fungi had already called Fun Girl though, so she was waiting in a van to capture Gregory, and that's what happened. Then what? The van drove off. Who knows where he is now? So, what do we do? We quit. What are you talking about? We've come this far, we can't just give up now. Don't you get it, Ben? We've hit a wall. We have no leads, no witnesses, and absolutely no evidence. Wait, then how did you- I made it all up. I thought of a brilliant story to go with all the trash I found around the neighborhood. I'm sorry, Ben, but Gregory really is gone and we have no idea where he is. I'm sure we can figure it out. After all, we are the best. No, Ben, we're not. We're just a bunch of fake wannabe cops. And the quicker you get that through your tiny little mind, the better. Wow, Logan, some friend you are. Oh, don't do that, Ben. I mean, look at us. We're security guards for a neighborhood. We're neighborhood cops, bro. We both know that's not true. Now just go. What do you say, partner? You, me. Friday night, two fine ladies by our sides. I can feel it calm in the air tonight. Hey, what's that? What? It looks like some kid's backpack. Jeez, it's torn to shreds. Gregory, huh? That sounds like a fake name. I heard you and your dumb friends found out what happened to Gregory. Wait. You must be... Yes, Ben. I'm Fun Guy. Listen, Ben. I'm glad you called. I was being really stupid before, and I just wanted to apologize. Logan Emerson. Logan. 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 Who the heck is this? You and your friend found out some pretty serious stuff. Speaking of your friend, I have him now. I swear, if you hurt him, I'll- What? Kill me. Come hunt me down. I'm not afraid of you, Logan. What do you want? I want you. What are you talking about? You know too much. I want you to come to the Bannon warehouse. There I'll kill both of you. Now why would I do that? Because it's an exchange. You and your friend's life. For Gregory's 
How do I know you won't just kill him anyways? You have no other choice. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. When my partner and I found out Gregory was missing, we should have known we were way in over our heads. But it wasn't until my best friend was taken that I realized that I knew I couldn't just walk into that warehouse. Even though I was willing to give up my own life for Gregory, I wasn't willing to give up Ben's. Gregory is safe. He's with his family again. Living his life as if nothing happened. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for my partner. While Ben is safe, he has decided to retire from being a security guard. <laughs> or as he called it, a neighborhood cop. Hello, my name is Logan Emerson. I'm the security guard here at Ashburn. They hired me, you know, because kids apparently smoke pot, get into fights. That's why they hired me to stop it. Let's go. Logan Emerson. Logan. 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 This has been a Benjamin Burdick film. Crap in there here! Crap! Oh my god! Get out! Oh crap, I'm out! Cole, come on, just go! 